guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been saying for the longest time that i'm gonna start vlogging again in london i just feel like it's not interesting and it's just an insecurity of mine that i feel like my life here is kind of boring so i only have a vlog when i go away which i know is so annoying because it's like why is she away again i get it it's just stupid and i feel like i should actually start vlogging my actual life i'm really busy the next couple days and i do want to vlog and show you what i actually do apart from just going on holiday because i swear i don't just go on holiday like i actually do a lot I'm a very stressed girl, like I have a lot going on every single day. Today is a Wednesday, I've had such a busy week. Yesterday I had a photo shoot in Brighton with Motel and I got back really late from that and I was exhausted. Like I faced my boyfriend and he was talking to me and I was like, I have no energy to even reply to you right now, like I'm so sorry. I got up at 7 today, went to the gym, had my PT session. I did arms because my PT is going away and I normally do two leg days a week. I did arms third a day and it was kind of hard. Like I'm not very good at arms. I don't like doing arms. I always put it off, but it was good. I'm glad that I got it done and got out of the house. I cycled to the gym and I managed to get there so quick. It usually takes me a lot longer and I was definitely going to be late because I slept in past my alarm and I was like, fuck. So I cycled there and then cycled back and I got there so quick and it was great. And then I came home, sorted through all my clothes because I'm going to be doing a pop-up at Vintage Paradise some of my own clothes I've been meaning to do it for so long I keep telling the lady at Vintage Paradise like I'm gonna bring them I promise but I've just not got around to doing it so today I'm gonna Uber there with all my big bags of clothes and then drop them off in the warehouse and then I'm filming Fashion Flip which if you guys don't know it's a little series that I do on my Instagram and TikTok where I find one of you guys and style you head to toe in vintage I do three outfits and then I buy one of the outfits for you and if you guys want to be a part of it message me on instagram because that's how i pick people i just get them to message me and then i go through and have a look and see who i think would be really fun and yeah katie's literally outside my house i'm tracking her on location right now so i think she's gonna buzz any second because i'm shooting an amazon campaign for her quickly and then we're both going to brick lane because katie's my little videographer for fashion flip she helps me out so much with it honestly it's so helpful like she's so good at it is that you Oh, she's at the door. Katie just got here. But what I was going to say is that we're going to Magic Mike tonight. So I feel like the vlog is going to be fun. I've got faith, like, that I'm actually doing interesting stuff today. But we're very back-to-back. -back. We've got a lot to do. Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm so stressed right now. Katie got ready so quick this oh morning. Oh, my God. I'm literally <laughs> feeling like I don't know what, what's going on. Are you ready to shoot your Amazon? This is cute. This is the Amazon ad. And the shoes? No. Oh. Okay, it's fine. I put on my warm jacket to be photographer. Katie's in her vest. She's, <laughs> she's doing it for a spring collection, so she's freezing right now. But this is the outfit. Hey. Hey guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is how you get the shot, guys. <laughs> we are in the Uber now, on our way to Vintage Paradise to drop off all the stuff. This is the first thing that we need to do today. I say Actually, we, no. so Katie has to do any of this. This is all me running my errands. No, now. the first thing I had to do today was. Amazon ad. Amazon ad, which we did. And you literally wrote out a huge schedule this morning. I was so oh yeah, I wrote out a schedule. Oh my god, like, like we don't have time. <laughs> like we don't have time to do all this. And she sends me like a minute by minute, minute schedule. Minute by minute schedule. Like you are going to do this right now. <laughs> In 15 minutes you're going to leave your house. You're going to get on the tube. And I was like, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> and then we actually did it. Like so far we are exactly bang on the schedule. Mm. And I even got a blue room up naked bath. <laughs> For free. So, for free. <laughs> That's her payment for me. <laughs> <laughs> bags of clothes in the back. I've got four massive bags. I went through them again this morning just to double check. Everything's all good. Oh, it's really hot in this car. Isn't it? Hey, we're filming Fashion Flip. We're on the second outfit now. Katie said to sit on the floor because she's tired. My legs hurt from the gym, guys. I'm not used oh, to this. from your F45. My F45 this morning. I was oh, putting in the work. Why do we look orange? Why do I look like an egg? I literally look like an egg right now. <laughs> anyway, we're filming in anyway, Menace Vintage. This outfit, guys. Oh, sorry. I was still talking. This outfit slays so, so hard. And now we're like trying to match the sleigh. I feel like we've really set ourselves up for failure because the first outfit was so first good. outfit was so good that now it's like yeah. trying to do it as good. Katie's found loads and she's on a spending ban. And she's Seriously. like going around like, oh, I love this top. And I'm like, <laughs> girl. girl, I can't afford it. Let me show you the shop. We're filming in Menace Vintage. It's so cool. They've shut off the shop for us. So it makes it a lot easier to film. Oh, <laughs> say hi to my vlog. <laughs> Guys, this painting is twenty-four thousand pounds. This one. Twenty-four big ones. Twenty-four k. The others are about hundred. I was like, oh, maybe a hundred pounds. I could do. I could do that. I love it. Um, twenty-four thousand pounds. I am leaving the shop. It's always so awkward when you ask how much something is, like as if you're going to buy it. 
and then they're like, oh, it's quite expensive. And you're like, oh, how expensive are we talking? And then she's like, like 24,000. Like, different opinions of what's expensive. Yeah, but and I find it so awkward. Like when you try on something in like Selfridges and you're like, oh yeah, like I'll think about it. Like acting like you could afford it, but like there's no way I'm paying 24 grand. 24,000 pounds. That's a yearly salary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So it's a little bit later now. I finished filming fashion clip, came home, collected the parcel from the post shop and then ran home, had like Maybe 10 minutes walk, to change. Miles. Yeah, my feet are literally about to fall off. I walked so far. And then I just changed. And we've come to La Bodega Negra. It's a new Mexican. And it looks really good so far. The food has been yummy. Well, I think the only people here though, because it's 5 30, really early because Magic Mike is at 7. I'm nervous because they've showed me a video and someone was getting humped on the floor. But like surely that's not gonna happen. Yeah, this guy was just like, he was like literally. Yeah, Zach sent it to me. Oh my god. Like, you know, the glass is like literally empty here. I've never eaten one before. Guys, we just saw mice on the floor. I was like, oh my god, there's mice. Do we get a, do you get our food for free? Wait, it's still there. No, it's gone now, don't panic. <laughs> Emily sat on the top of her chair. <laughs> there was two mice over there play fighting. They were like beating each other. <laughs> There's a time and a place. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I was like, wait, what is that? And then I just went. Like, <laughs> I thought you were joking. I saw a glimpse of them like scuttle away. Scuttle away. <laughs> Surely you can't I really love, I kind of love the drama. Like, I love the drama. <laughs> Yeah, Do they have to get like an extinction team? Extinction? Do it like extermination? Mm-hmm. Who did you say it to? Extinction. <laughs> Why are you covering your ears? <laughs> I don't know whether or not I should film. I just got all our food and drinks for free because he tried to make us pay. We were like, there were mice. They were scuttling around like our They were literally scuttering <laughs> all over our <laughs> He was like, well, you couldn't, do you want to just pay for the drink? So I was like, no. I mean, I didn't say anything. I'm actually like, I said all this. Emily said everything. Oh my God. Like they were literally like scuttling. See behind us. Ew. Ew. Like, no, I'm not paying for it. Like, you should not have. He tried to say that they had, like, it was yeah. Like, it's, like it's an control. underground problem yeah. in London. There was like a, a, two mice and they were fighting each other, like pushing each other over on the floor around our feet as if we were like spectators oh for the game. Like does that mean oh. that it was in the kitchen? Like surely that's like so unsanitary. Oh my god. That is actually <laughs> so traumatic. <laughs> but we got all our food for free. And I love how we were literally complaining about the mice. And he was trying to make us pay for the drinks whilst we were downing them. Yeah. I had a I was like, I'm not paying for this. Like, I'm not paying for this. Baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't like complaining, but that is so valid. No, like, that was so valid. Guys, what the actual fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? I, I can't feel like that right now. Like, I, I, feel really, like, I hate confrontation though, so when Emily went to the so hard. Yeah. Like, I went to the <laughs> <my head>, <laughs> And the way that you like, just stood there and you were like leaning forward. So we are at Magic Mike now. We're half an hour early. We actually weren't supposed to be so early. But obviously everything happened with the restaurant and we like left really abruptly. So now we're early. It's 6.30 and it starts at 7. So that means we can go get our seats. I just put my hair up because just get, I want to get picked. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't actually do that. I was just really hot. Um, I'm wearing this little top I got today in Venice. Vintage. I kind of want to, can we take like a thumbnail and be like, oh, magic mic. Yeah. <laughs> The stuff I make Katie do. <laughs> yeah. Actually, she's gonna be a YouTuber soon, so she'll yeah. get it. Follow me, guys. She. I followed you on YouTube the other day. Got mojitos. We normally get both strawberry mojitos, but Liv went for mojitos. No, I ordered strawberry, and then I kind of thought in my head like, don't mix drinks, even though it's the same thing. And then I also was thinking like, sometimes you get strawberry mojitos and it's all like chunky, and I thought, yeah, that is the best strawberry mojitos I've ever had in my life. Best strawberry mojitos I've ever had in my whole life. It's like blended, it's delicious. Yeah, I watched him do it and he was like, Yeah, I want to be tipsy, guys. We have a table quite near the front. I didn't even realize because they put this for my birthday. It's my P day present, and we're actually quite near the front. They come near the table, I'm going to say, It's our birthday, it's our birthday. I'm going to be like, Come in, and we are so near the front. This is our table right now. They just said that the table is going to get used for the show. I don't know what that means. They were like, Hold on to your drinks. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna try film stuff, but I feel a little bit tipsy, so I might like forget. I don't know. Waiter, Waiter get me a drink.
39. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking oh, 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 Can I get a woo woo? Can I get a woo woo? Can I get a woo woo? Oh, Can I get a woo woo? Can I get a woo woo? What are the guys doing? Can I get a woo woo? 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 Can I get a woo because Liv's still asleep but it is currently 8 10 I got up at 7 30 and I just stayed in bed I was meant to go straight to the gym but oh my god I feel deathly hungover guys <laughs> like oh my god I drank so much at Magic Mike I didn't even end the vlog I knew consciously when I was in bed that I had to end the vlog but I was I was <laughs> I don't even know what happened. They gave me like a big cocktail when I was there and I drank that thing very fast. It was like this big. Maybe even bigger. It was like this. No, it was like this. We had mojitos before and I had a mojito at the mice restaurant and I downed that really quick when we were complaining about the mice so it was just, it all went to my head a bit too fast. I'm still going to go to the gym. I'm a bit late, like I'm a bit off my schedule. I kind of schedule things out in my head because I don't know about you guys but I feel like it might be an ADHD thing. I don't have a very good concept of time. I feel like I've talked about this before, but like to me, like the concept of time in a day just like it doesn't really make sense. Like if I think of five minutes, I just can't grasp what like five minutes is and what that feels like. Does anyone else have this or do I just sound like crazy? But like when someone's like, oh, what time are you gonna meet me at the station? I'm like, it's a big task in hand for me to figure out like, okay, so if it takes me 15 minutes to get there, this means this. I have to schedule out my days by like 15 minutes, half an hour, and I did it yesterday and I was completely on schedule, kind of until the end of the day, but like basically on schedule and it meant that we were on time for everything, which was really good. Actually saying that we were like late for everything, but like only by five or 10 minutes, which was fine. But it was a very busy day yesterday, so that's understandable, that's fine. I did some admin stuff already this morning when I was in bed and I do need to do some editing too, but that's kind of what I would do if I was going on this journey, but I'm actually driving to this factory. So I obviously can't like go on my phone whilst I'm driving and do my work. So I'll have to do that either when I'm back or try and do it on the way to the gym. But I am going to cycle, so I'm not going to do that actually. I don't know. I might do it in between my sets at the gym. You're only up in the morning, like the sun's not really out yet. My room is still, like this could be the evening right now. Like I could have another night's sleep. What did I just say? <laughs> I don't think any of that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm drinking my protein water. And I'm gonna sickle this is the gym. Mm. I just like inhaled that. Fucking hell, did you hear that? I just like went down my <coughs> I think I just filmed all of that with sleep in my eyes. I get so much sleep in my eyes when I have lashes. But like these lashes, I've had them on for about over a month, I think. Because my lash tech broke her wrist, so she's not been able to do it, bless her. Um but I'm actually getting them done on Friday and I'm so excited. I just love lashes. Like it makes such a difference. Like I don't have to do anything really. Okay, I need to like wrap up because it's actually cold in London at the moment. I'm still whispering because Olivia is asleep in her bed. I've worn this jumper like every day. It's so cozy. But I feel like I need a coat too. Actually, I'm going to be cycling so it'll be fine. I'm just parking up my bike. I just cycled. Took me like literally two seconds. It was so quick. Olivia. 
Jeff was meant to come with me, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do leg day by myself. But this is so embarrassing filming right now. Oh my god, someone just saw me do that video where I was changing and I'm humiliated. I'm back from the gym. I just had a shower whilst I put my bacon on. So I'm gonna eat some bacon and eggs because I am feeling faint. Like, oh my god, my face is still wet because I'm midway through doing my skincare too. That session was hard, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I felt so sick during that and just like, I actually thought I was gonna be sick because I feel so hungover. And I was doing like my full on proper leg day, like heavy weight. It was just a lot. But yeah, I've got like five minutes to get ready now to go drive to this factory with Liv. She's coming with me for the ride. Keep me occupied. So we are at the factory. We just dropped off so many rolls of fabric. This security guy came out and I thought he was giving me a ticket. I went up to him and I was like, are you giving me a ticket? And he was like, no, I'm just a like security this. guard. Was like, no, I'm just security. <laughs> and he was like, you can't park here. I like, I know, but like where else am I supposed to park? I need to unload this load of fabric. Um, but it feels so good to get rid of it, guys. That's been in our living room for like a year. A year? Like just lying on Actually, our floor, like collecting year. dust. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so happy that it's gone. I and can't even like we've had it in our flat longer than we've not had it. Yeah. In our flat. Like it's just become a part I feel like I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> it's become a part I'm of not. the flat. No, I'm actually joking, I'm not gonna miss it. But yeah, now we have another hour drive back and then I think we're gonna do a charge shop run quickly because we want to clear the flat and like make we're it look mission. so nice i'm so excited it's going to be a completely different flat but yeah oh <laughs> i just realized i haven't actually vlogged in a while i'm currently on my way to an ice skating lesson i'm so excited i have my ice skating lessons every week it's kind of not ice skating season at the moment but i still it's so therapeutic to do even though i forgot my airpods and i usually just like skate around loving life with my airpods in because the tunes they play are like not it like the pop charts so yeah i've got my ice skating lesson and i just realized I, I didn't vlog lunch or anything that i did at home because i was just doing work Liv and i got so much done in the car it was actually crazy we were banging out our to-do list we did so much there and back it was like two hours and that whole time we managed to basically take off everything that we needed to do and then when i got back i just did some more work like admin stuff and then some editing i edited my magic mic vlog my tiktok one i need to edit the youtube one um, at some point for the weekend. I don't know when I'm going to do that. not a very successful skating lesson it was chaos in there oh my god i think i forgot it's 3 30 which is when school finishes so everyone's come off of school so it was just kids everywhere and like i don't know like i just get anxious when there's people everywhere because even if i'm staying in my lane all it takes is for a kid to just go straight into you and i've had that before and oh my god this wasn't here this was at queensgate and this kid was going back and forth like across the the lengths of the skating room which obviously you're like not really supposed to do so we just follow it like clockwise and she rammed into me. i didn't see her coming because she was like tiny and she rammed into me with her blade just like directly into my shin and oh my god the pain the pain it was so bad after that i just have a genuine fear that one of the kids is just gonna go straight into me i think i'm just gonna come again when it's like the daytime session because the daytime session is so chill it's just like 50 year old women just loving life staying in their lane they look out for you they don't get in your way whereas the kids no i'm so i'm scared of them I'm currently sat in my room in the dark trying to upload fashion flip it's not working like the file is just too big it's not saving it gets to like 90 percent on my phone and then it won't save i added it into CapCut to add text and it's just not agreeing with CapCut at all. So I'm trying to do that whilst also doing the thumbnail for the next one on my laptop. My laptop's about to die and I don't know my laptop charger. Why am I saying a laptop like that? That's so annoying. <gasps> it saved! Yay! My laptop charger's right in front of me. I'm so dramatic. 
I've been, you know you're looking for something but you're like kind of stressed so you're like you can't see it it's like it's there in front of you but you just don't see it because you're like stressed yeah that's what i'm having right now like oh i just feel like nervous when i post fashion flip i don't know what it is i think it's because i put so much like time and effort and like thought into it that when i post it i just get nervous like i, I don't know and i'm like proud of it too and like it just, it feels like, it feels like it's my baby and I'm like showing it to everyone. I know it's like really not that deep and it's just a TikTok and a reel, but <laughs> my drive for this camera is so bad. Like no one else is putting this pressure on me, like I'm putting the pressure on myself, but I just want it to be really good. I want people to enjoy it. And I also feel like with doing a series, it's like every time you do it, you want to up the last episode and like make it better or like make it slightly different. I don't want people to get bored of it. I don't know, I just, I don't even understand what goes in my brain. It's just me being a perfectionist and I always want it to be better than the last one. Um, but I just feel like with this one, like everything was just like not going to plan. So I'm just like nervous to post it. And I don't know, I'm gonna do the thumbnail now. Like the lighting for the thumbnail pictures that I took aren't good, but like no one's gonna notice that or no one is even gonna care. Like no one's gonna look at the thumbnail and think, oh, the lighting is a little bit darker than normally it's like, no one is gonna care. It just was quite an overcast day, so all the clips are a little bit dark. Like, why am I even explaining this? Oh my gosh. It really doesn't matter, but like, I just, I want it to be perfect. Boyfriend's coming in like, he's probably gonna be here in 15 minutes. He's very punctual, like he's always on time, which I'm so not used to. Every single one of my friends is constantly late, so I work around like that, and I'm always like, okay, so, if we're meeting at this time, like, that means, like, 15, 20 minutes later, but my boyfriend's very punctual, which is such a good thing, like, that's such a good trait to have, but it just throws me off a little bit, because I'm like, hello, like, I wanted to tidy my room, and have a shower, and do this, and you're, like, already here, it just, I'm not used to it, I'm really not used to it, so, yeah, I can see him, like, zooming down the M25 right now, <laughs> I'm tracking him, I think, oh, he's gonna be here, oh no, I think I've got some time, actually, so, that's fine. I'm gonna tidy my room because it's an actual state and when he comes as well like obviously he's bringing all his stuff with him actually he won't have much stuff because he's only home for a night so it won't be that bad but last time we came you had like three bags of stuff and you're in your boyfriend's stuff is in your room and you're just like why is that there <laughs> like i don't like it i'm like my room's really tidy right now like you just come and invade my space but then when i go to his house i literally cause havoc like his room is destroyed and like i literally don't care and he never complains but when he comes to mine i'm like I would never say anything, but in my head I'm just like, making a mess in my room, <laughs> how dare you. <laughs> Friday today I got up filmed my ad I didn't make it to the gym I was kind of like never gonna go to the gym I don't think I was like I was asleep in bed and I didn't stretch after the gym yesterday and I did legs oh my god I was in agony and I did ice skating too that's probably why I'm in so much pain because I did like two strenuous leg activities so I was just lying in bed last night and I was like there is no way I, I might as well not even lie to myself that I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning because I'm just not gonna make it there like there was no way but yeah I filmed my ad this morning and then I just got ready and I'll show you my outfit it's kind of boring because I've got like a few different things like back to back today so I want to be comfy for a few of them but then like still look cool so I've tried to do like comfy cool and like not wear those disgusting grey joggers that I wear every single day like I wear them so much like it's just like Evie kind of wear them again today because i'm going to a coach event later which is like the cool thing that i'm doing and the rest are just like errands that i have to run but yeah this is my outfit i'm wearing this gray jacket that i thrifted in budapest and then these joggers from motel and then my asics like i think i hate this outfit <laughs> it's giving me nothing i just want to be comfy for my lash appointment in the evening and i'm going straight to that from the coach event so i'm trying to do cool casual like maybe i should wear a cool top underneath but realistically i don't want to do i want to be comfy so yeah Let's go guys, this camera might die. I just realized I didn't charge it. So fingers crossed it doesn't because I really wanna to vlog today. And this vlog will probably have to go up next weekend because I was gonna try to edit it for this weekend, but I haven't actually finished like, filming the vlog yet. So I was like, that's actually so unrealistic that I'm gonna be able to do that. Like, when am I gonna edit it? Like, 
Not today, bro, not today. <laughs> I just got you in the back. So I went to Subdued and picked up my outfit for the event tomorrow. Hey guys! Hey Tia! Again! <laughs> Again, I'm featuring. <laughs> We're at Coach Topia now, which is really cute. They have bubble tea cakes and cute yeah. coach bags. Tea cakes. Katie's friend from France is here as well. Yep, Sam. We're gonna go out together this evening actually. We're gonna go to Brixton. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And. Party time. Oh, fucking way. I'm literally gonna get so drunk. Like, I literally. Same. I'm gonna be a mess. I got drunk last night. Oh my god, I forgot that. Yeah, I have sexy fish. It's really good. Oh my god. It was like Mayfair Club. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite scary in there. And there's like girls and no poly dresses, and I'm like, yeah. I'm scared. I am in jeans and a top. <laughs> just come to get my lashes done. I just had a drink with Katie and Sal. And I can't wait to get lashes. I just got heckled on the bus, guys. Oh my god, by these school kids. They were filming me. I was like, don't bring this on TikTok, please. It was so awkward. It was so stressful. They like got on the bus, and I didn't even notice them because I had my AirPods and I was playing music. And then there was obviously like loads of empty seats on the bus, and one just came and sat next to me, and I was like, oh my god, why the fuck? And I knew straight away that obviously he was like taking the piss or something because. Why would you come and just sit next to me? And then he was like, all right, miss, like, have you got a mouth? I couldn't hear what he was saying because I had my airpods in. And I took my airpods out and I was like, oh, fuck, I shouldn't have taken them out. But then I turned around and there was, like, three cameras filming me and everyone was, like, pissing themselves laughing. And I was like, I'm 22, like, <laughs> you're literally in uniform. Like, why are you talking to me? But he continued to sit next to me for the whole bus journey. It was mortifying. I was like, why are you still next to me? Like, it was so awkward and my airbags were out and I was just sat there like this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually sweating from that whole ordeal. It was so stressful. <sighs> Back home now and I'm making fajitas. I burnt my onion and everything is just going wrong. I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't want to eat this. <laughs> it's literally like a burnt mess. This is what happens when I try to multitask. Like, what the hell is this? I'm hoping that the onions are like, caramelizing <laughs> not like burning and they won't taste that bad but this just looks like tar I'm not sure how i feel about it guys but i don't have anything else to eat so i'm gonna try and make it work okay it's the evening now i finished my fajitas they literally tasted like shit they were disgusting but i just got ready for the night out i'm kind of confused once again whatsoever because i'm going to like a cool event before and then i'm going out in brixton after so i want to be like not too dressy for that but i want to look cool at this event so i put on this top what it is about this outfit and this look but i genuinely have a raging hatred to it like i went out wearing this i don't know what it is but i just don't recognize myself like i, I don't know ew <laughs> This is like dramatic, but I'm like, girl, take that top off right now. Like, that top is going to the charity shop. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's really cool. And then just some baggy jeans, my sambas, and yeah, I feel like I'm giving like witch. I don't know if I like the top, but I also have a little like black skim top in my bag that I'm going to put on when I get to Brixton. I love how I have like two changes. Also, this lighting is literally shit. Like, why is it bright yellow? I need to get better lights, I think. It's the next morning. I do not feel good. I don't even know when the last time I vlogged was, but I went out last night for my friend's birthday. And I just think the five days of drinking in a row has caught up on me at this point. I'm so tired. I knew this was going to happen. Like, my boyfriend was like, Evie, you're going to be exhausted after going out every single night. I'm like, yeah, I know, but you can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, but it's bank holiday weekend. So, like, I feel like people are going to be doing things. Why is my camera dying again? I swear I charge it and, like, it never actually charges. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here because I feel like this has been going on for ages. <laughs> you guys are going to be sick of me. Like, why is this vlog really long i think it's really long anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it though let me know if you do want to see more london vlogs and yeah follow me on instagram and tiktok i post more over there and i'll see you guys in my next video bye